Craig Powers of ASUG News, learning about the success factors journey at Ingalls Shipbuilding. So before success factors, Ingalls had a 1996 mainframe system that was really past its prom. We knew it was time to do something new. We needed better tools to get us into the 21st century. And our vision was to have all of these disparate systems in one database, in one system that could look across all the different fields, kind of a 360 degree view. The HR vision for the new system was to have all these different systems and databases in one, in one kind of system, right? A 360 degree view of the workforce. And that was things like performance management, which had been a separate database from the core HRS data. And the core HRS system was unable to give us data like previous job title and reports to fields. Some basic stuff that we wanted to run a lot of metrics and move to analytics on as well. well our change management practices at Ingalls and the move to success factors in Boy Central included involving all the stakeholders as early as possible. The, the ones in the departments, the HR business partners, uh, payroll of course a big stakeholder. So we worked with IT closely and decided and landed on the spot of loading four years of history from our old system into the new one. The old system is still the system of record until we went live with Employee Central and it's certainly useful for legal purposes and things like that. The four years of overlap there of history is useful for things like recall rights for unionized employees and employees that have been on a leave of absence for up to two years. Our plan to transition from the mainframe system to success factors included a approximately two day blackout and freeze. So we, we had told the departments ahead of time, do not enter any transactions in HRS after this date. Meanwhile, so everything stopped, IT then migrated the data over, it took them about a day. After that migration, uh, we, we started a soft go live, if you will, of HR entering the data only. Just a few people in HR entering all the transactions that had happened during those two days. So our top three lessons learned would be for HR to take advantage of this move to the cloud. Another lesson learned would be clearly you do not need your entire history loaded into Employee Central. Your legal team may disagree, but you do not need all years of history. The third major reason would be involve your stakeholders as early as possible make sure you have their buy-in. That does not necessarily mean their approval on everything, but we included people like payroll and HR business partners, and they were involved from the very beginning of the project, and that really made a difference for us.